Hey friends, it's Heidi from A Lively Hope. Today I am going to be finishing a project that I have had in my works in progress basket for quite a while. I believe that I started these needle books last summer uh, during kind of a quiet period between art shows and big um, deadlines. And then they were usurped by other projects that were more pressing. Um, and then in February and again at the beginning of March, I had um, surgery on my hands. And so I wasn't able to do very many handwork type projects for quite a while. So these really are almost done. I will show you close up again in a minute, but they, I just have some nice felt and then I did some slow stitching with a bunch of scraps. I've got linen, I've got cotton, I've got these little uh, tiny embroidery pieces that I was trying out for other various projects that I just decided to incorporate here. So a lot of hours, mostly I took these with me to kids' lessons or various other places. They're looking really nice. I've, I've done most of the work on them already. All I really want to do today to finish them up is create a closure. So I have my bin of nice felt scraps and my embroidery thread. And I am not a person who has a lot of buttons on hand. I don't do a ton of sewing or really any sewing on a machine, although that's changing and we'll talk about that in the future. But I had to grab my oldest um, button collection. They said I could use some. So I will probably just be doing a simple felt strip that wraps around from the back to the front and, and hooks over the button. That's the plan at this point. Um, I am just kind of figuring this out as I go though, so you'll see. But I'm gonna turn this around so you can get a closer look at these needle books and then come along with me as I finish them up. I will also show some of the like setup that I did film months ago. Um, I will show that uh, in a little bit.
The lighting is kind of crazy today. Very bright out my window, so hopefully this is still visible with the blinds closed. Um, I find it very ironic that I had to just search around for a needle for a while because I'm making these needle books and I just have them stashed anywhere, but I couldn't find them. So this is the plan. You'll just pop the needles in here. They can have thread attached or not, but it's just a place for them to go and then maybe in a project bag or basket or whatever. I made two because I often have a project bag that I take with me to kids' lessons or in the car on trips, and I want to have one that just stays in there and then one that's with my cart of at-home projects that I'm working on. So I've got those, and here's my bin of... This is wool felt scraps. Let's see. I may already have some strips cut. I'm kind of looking for colors that correspond with these inside felt colors. So, but, but aren't those exact same colors. I really like this purple. Let's see how that looks with this one. We do have some purple here. So I think that could be nice wrapped around. Use that. And oh look, here's a strip already. Yeah, I thought I had some strips in here. Those are pretty thin. I think I'll use this dark green for this other one. Actually, I don't really love that. These greens are brighter. That's better. Okay. Once again, just making this up as I go, I'm going to grab a couple of small buttons from here. These are cute little metal buttons. Very simple, which is what I'm after. So I'm, because this heart is kind of in an awkward place, I'm gonna have to do the closure off center. Maybe I could do it right in the heart. Yep, that's what I'm gonna do. Oops, sorry, off camera there. I'm gonna do it right in the heart like that, or try to. I like that better than trying to fit it in here or not having it centered very well. And then on this one, well, yeah, it's just gonna have to cover up some of those flowers, but it'll be basically centered and I'm okay with that. So I'm going to sew this onto the back and just have it wrap around. So I'm going to need to use Oh, I guess I didn't really think that the heart would be covered. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, what if we What if we did the button on the back? Because then you can still see the heart. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. See, you're learning with me. So this is not going to be very precise. It's obviously not very precise at all. It's very much a handmade look, which is what I'm after. 
And because this felt, felt will not fray, I don't need to do anything to, to prep that or um, anything I can just get started. So here I am looking for a color to stitch that down with. So I'll stitch it around here and probably do a running stitch along this way just to make it a little stronger, more secure. I'm grabbing three strands of this embroidery thread. Okay, so I will knot the end. Let's see if I can get the sliding just a little bit better. That is better for now. We'll see what the sun decides to do. So I'm gonna tuck the needle or I mean the knot underneath, just like this. And just do some let's do blanket stitch, why not? To hold this in place. I like to make sure I get a spot right on the corner that's kind of diagonally leaning instead of just straight up and down. I feel like that helps tack things into place a little better. I'm going to wrap this around the edge right there just to secure that last blanket stitch. And then I'm going to do a running stitch right along the edge to keep that in place. I am noticing that that is not straight. We'll see how much that bugs me. Might need to pull this off and fix it off camera. We're 
where these two pieces meet. Now this is just going to spend most of its time tucked into a bag somewhere. So it doesn't have to be really strong, but I also would like it to last. So I'm gonna try not to care too much about the wonkiness and just make sure it's strong enough. Okay, that is very crooked. So now I'm going to pick up this button and figure out where it needs to go. I want it about right there. I'm not going to worry about making this invisible. I could have sewn the button on before I did the backing felt. I could have sewn it on to this before I did the backing felt and that probably would have been a good idea, but I did not do that and it's fine. So this is going to have a knot in it and I'm not too worried about that. Again, it's a very relaxed project. Figuring out the placement again. Just a bit. Oops. Okay. So here's a close-up of what that knot looks like. And I'm just going to cut into this felt so that it can loop over that button and that will be done. If I find that this is getting too stretched, I might add some buttonhole stitching around here. Okay, we're going to call that one finished. I could also add some stitching on this if I decide to. But really, I'm happy to just have it to this stage so I can toss it in my bag and call it done. So I will finish the next one and show that to you in a minute. Okay, that's it. They are slightly wonky, but they are definitely usable. And I'm pretty happy with how they turned out. Next time, because I'm sure I'll be making these again, I'll plan better ahead <laughs> for how I'm going to attach the closure. But this is great. This is great for now. And I'd like to encourage you, if you have something in your project bin that is just a couple steps away from being completed, maybe this weekend you pull it out and finish it up. I'll see you next time.